Hey folks, this video is part of a series on GitHub Copilot feature highlights. To find the other videos, go to github-copilot.zebia.ms. I wanted to show you the data that is available in the GitHub Copilot metrics API. This is available if you have the GitHub Copilot uh, for business or for enterprise version, which means that the administrators can actually go in and see some of the data that you're producing when you use GitHub Copilot all anonymized, it's all private, so they can't see everything that you're doing, but they definitely can gauge if you're using the service, for example, as a team, as a group, or something more. So let's dive straight in. Here you can see that I have the API call set up. So you can go to api.github.com uh, if you have an authenticated access token. You can go to slash copilot slash usage for an organization, for example. You can do that on a team level or the enterprise level, but not on a personal user level. So you can send the request. I've got Postman here set up uh, with authentication for me to do this. And then you can see the results that we get back from the request as well. So on an overall thing, you get a, an array of data back uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, all normalized at UTC. And then you can see here that for a given day, this was the 20th of November, uh, it's only stored for a limited amount of days. So be aware of that, it's up to 90 days that you can go back in history there, and after that, there's nothing here anymore. So if you need this long term, you actually need to export this data. And this is the amount of data that we can actually see as an administrator. So we see suggestions count on the top here, so how many times did Copilot actually suggest something to a user, in this case 14 times on that day. The user accepted that 5 out of those 14 times, uh, and this is always full acceptances, so you need to accept the entire code block, not just a word, for example. We can see how many lines of code were suggested and how many were accepted. We can see the accepted uh, of active users on that day. Uh, I'm running this in a demo organization that only has me as a user and, of course, in multiple accounts. So hence, we only have two active users here. How many times we actually accepted code from the chat? That means copying code from the chat using the copy options, for example, or uh, insert the code at cursor. We can see how many chat turns I've had. So even though I only accepted it and copied code from the chat three times, I did have 25 interactions with GitHub Copilot there. And you can see that there was only one active chat user, which was me. In the breakdown, we actually get information on specific editors or specific languages. So if I scroll down a little bit, then you can see that for that given day, I've apparently used JavaScript React in VS Code. I've used JavaScript in VS Code. I did this on JSON, for example. So as an administrator, you can gauge a little bit of what languages are people actually using when they talk to Copilot or uh, write code using Copilot. This is one of the APIs that is available. The other one that I want to show is actually on the seat level. So you can go in at an organization level, Copilot billing seats, make the request there, Let's make this a little bit bigger, and then you can see that, well, hey, we have two seats for this organization in use. It's my demo organization, so only my demo accounts. And from there, you can see which accounts uh, actually have a seat. So what are you paying your Copilot licenses for? We can see um, the information from the user. This is my public information, uh, user information, so that is fine. And the interesting part is here, because this is the data that I can see as an administrator of my users. So I don't have specific data per user. The only thing I can see is, hey, did we already cancel their account, for example, on what um, Copilot license are they using? In this case, I'm using the business license. When did we last update this information? So updated add. And the two important ones are last activity add and last activity editor. So with that, we can actually see that, hey, this user has used their Copilot um, license from this specific organization at the 17th of December, in this case, at 11 uh, a.m., which is then, of course, UTC, so keep that in mind. And the last time this person used it was with VS Code with a specific version. So that's the minimum information we get. With this, we can do a little bit of triaging if they come to us, for example, saying, hey, my uh, Copilot isn't working anymore. The first thing is always to check the version number, for example. So with this, we can keep track of, are people actually using this? based on the lines of code suggested, for example, on a given day, but also when they use this last. So if we want to implement a policy to uh, re retrieve somebody's licenses uh, after they haven't used it for a couple of weeks, for example, saving you a couple of uh, bucks left and right, this is the information that you use. Based on this information, you can now also create dashboards. 
one of the options that is there is Power BI and GitHub and Microsoft has nicely provided us with an option to actually do this. You can go to the Power BI um, marketplace, find embedded apps if you search for GitHub Copilot metrics from the publisher GitHub. And if you go down, uh, then you see the thumbnails that are available. Here you can see some of the examples that you can dashboard then uh, to see at least if people are using Copilot. I would recommend to look at this as informational and uh, maybe reach out to certain teams if they're not using GitHub Copilot, because then you can have a conversation and ask them, hey, why are you not using it? Is it not working in your environment? Do we need to give you more training, for example? What kind of things can we help you with to get more usage out of the tool? Uh, this is not something that you would use uh, to communicate to uh, users and say, hey, you need to improve the way that you're doing things. Now, this is part of a conversation of how can we help you get more benefit out of the tools as well. There's, of course, multiple screenshots in here, so feel free to dive around and look at these things, but only as an informational thing of are people actually using this, yes or no. Visit github-copilot.zbia.ms for the other videos.